Hey guys, I'm uh, just going to quickly teach you how to do the QMK and download and use it. So, we start here, we go into our QMK toolbox. So, let me show you. So, if I just search QMK toolbox, it will bring you to a GitHub page. We click the GitHub page, scroll down, we don't see anything, but we have to go to releases. So, it's here, the second one. In releases, we find the .exe file, which is right here. So, we download that. Double click, opens QMK toolbox. Now, it, normally it should let you download it, but since I already have the file, uh, it does auto uh, open for me. So from here, we find our hex file, which in this case, if I just drag my Discord here, hex file for the Glacier 80 is here in announcements. So we have our .json file, and we have our .hex file. Our hex file is here. Let me just download the hex. Now we have a hex. From here, we go back onto QMK Toolbox. We select the hex file. So now it's here. Below your spacebar, underneath your PCB, there's a little button which you can use. I normally do auto flash, so when I click the button, it will start flashing it. When we're done, it should give us a success message. Here, I don't. I've already tried to flash the PCB. It's done, so I won't flash it again. But what the general basis is, is under the PCB, there's a tiny button which you click, which will reset it and help you flash it. When we see a success message, we're good to go. After that, we go to our VIA, which is right here. So let me close this down like this. Let me teach you how to get the layout manually. So go back here again to the Discord. Full screen this. Download the JSON. Use the new JSON because the old one had a few issues so now we have our via 3 json normally recommend with how i set my things up is dragging the json to your desktop so let me just quickly do that so now it's on my desktop okay let's go to design load json desktop and we should just see the json here now configure and we have all the layout options. People did say they had issues with the alt keys, so now that's been fixed. We should have access to everything. And you can rebind keys just by doing this, putting a layer there. So you can just rebind things. Here. Personally, I I always set my F13 key to Windows, but yours can vary. And with the via flash, it will auto detect your CKADVS so you don't have to personally do it every time. Thank you.